Looks up. The game has changed. And not only has the game changed, but people have evolved and changed with it. So things that may have been easy to spot 10 years ago now have a different face. And so to avoid having your heart played with, there are five easy tips that you can start implementing tomorrow that's gonna stop your heart getting played by a guy you might be considering. Number one, invest in him based on how much he invests in you. The mistake a lot of women make or people in general can make is that she invests in a guy based on how much she likes him, regardless of whether he's reciprocating to the same degree or not. And I get, that makes sense. The more I like you, the more I choose to invest in you, right? But there's an issue with having this approach in the beginning. What often happens in the beginning, especially for a lot of women, is the reason they start to really like a guy quite quickly early on is because she's already started to imagine what it would be like to be with this said guy. She's already started painting the potential of what their future could be. And it's this image that she starts to imagine for the two of them, that's what she begins to start liking more. It's not necessarily the guy, it's the thing that she's imagined that. This is falling in love with the idea of him, not who he actually is in the beginning. And so because of that, a girl can disproportionately give a lot quite early on because she's falling in love with the idea of who he is and who he could be to her. But without a level of standard for reciprocation, i.e. he doesn't do much and she's offering the most, it makes her come across as low value which means he won't think twice about messing you around he won't be as punctual with you and he may even cancel things last minute this is where he puts her in the friends with benefits zone next thing you can do that's going to help you start getting played by a guy is if you know a girl that he's been with before then ask her about him if you know a girl that he has history with especially recent history if there's a way that you can communicate with her without it being too crude or too weird ask her about her experience with him and what he's like now the first thing you have to understand when you ask this girl you need to take a look to see if she is still jaded by the experience and the reason it's really important to see this because this is going to heavily bias what she's going to tell you about this guy. If she's still a bit hurt and isn't over that, she may paint him in a really bad light, unjustifiably so because she's not over it. And so this is where that feminine intuition of yours comes in. You use it to sense whether she is past the situation. Even better so if she's in a relationship with a different guy, then you can take what she says more accurately. So if you feel that she is past the situation, she's over it emotionally with this guy, then most of what she says you can take with pretty good accuracy because she has no reason to lie to you. However, you also have to be able to notice the other side is she still liking the guy? God forbid, love the guy. Does she still have feelings for him? Because if she does, this could be even more of a reason for why she would dissuade you. Or maybe she'll just tell you flat out that she likes him, you know, in hopes that you will just back off. So while this approach of talking to a girl that a guy has history with carries a little bit of risk or I would say a little bit, maybe medium risk. If the right conditions are met, it can give you really great insight into a side of him that maybe you haven't seen yet, which can help you determine whether he's worth investing in long term or if he's just gonna, you know, waste your time. Next tip to not being played and is my favorite one, is recognize the difference between sexual attention and romantic intention. This is probably one of the biggest learning curves women have in their dating life. And the sooner she has this learning curve in her adult life, the better outcomes she gets. Because if you learn this too late, then you are pretty much guaranteed to be messed about by a lot of guys like a Greek salad bowl. Just because a man will have sex with a woman doesn't mean that he is open to committing to her. Men show that they're really into a woman, not in the time that he has sex with her, but in the time that he's not having sex with her. The time he talks to her, the time that they go and walks, the time that he asks about her life. It's everything outside of sex that shows that he's really into you. Recognize the difference between just sexual attention and genuine romantic investment. Because the truth is, most guys who are presented with a sexual opportunity are going to indulge in it. So while being physical may mean something to you, it means significantly less to him. So be sure to look out for how much effort he makes with you outside of sexual play, sexual talk, and sexual planning. Because guys who are just looking to mess around and waste your energy will invest very little into those things. Which ties perfectly into the next tip, which is don't have sex with him really quickly. As the woman in the beginning, you have 
the power because he's investing in you because he wants to be physically intimate with you. The moment you start having sex with a man, the leverage shifts to him. Now again, this sounds very business-like, you know, who has the leverage? Sounds very unromantic. But we have to understand that part of the dance that we're having with someone that we're dating and interested in is we are consistently negotiating how much are we willing to give in order to receive. And so when you have sex with a guy really early and really quickly, you've given everything that he's taken an initial interest in you for. That's why girls often find when they do have sex with a guy really quickly and really early, they find that his effort for her completely falls off a clip and the reason this happens is because she has given to him what he wants at low value and so he will only continue to give minimum investment to maintain sexual access so then he will only continue to give minimum investment for sexual intimacy now that's not saying that you shouldn't have sex at all of course but it's about building the physical intimacy as you're building the emotional intimacy if you haven't gotten the level of emotional investment that you're looking for or at least to some degree then he shouldn't be getting the physical to the degree that he's looking for until you know both of these things have reached to the same level because that is proof that things are heading in the right direction next tip to take away is to ask your friend in a relationship for advice i think it happens too often that we who are single seem to ask their perpetually single friends for advice about men now this isn't to say that your single girlfriends give you terrible advice however that girlfriend of yours who's in a relationship especially that one girl that you know that has gone from one serious relationship to the next she will understand better what it looks like when a man is taking you seriously when a man is truly investing in you and when a guy is going to commit to you they have that level of experience because they are in relationships and i would say you want someone who's you know been in a relationship for at least a year but you know they got into that relationship between the last five to eight years because then they understand more of the current dating landscape as opposed to someone who's been with someone for you know 30 years plus so the girl in the relationship that you know he's been in that relationship for an extended period of time with a man there are things that she will now understand about men quite intrinsically especially his relationship with women his relationship with time and his relationship with sex whereas people who have been single for a very long time it's not that they don't have that experience but that memory isn't as fresh in their heads and it really depends if you know she's in her late 20s the last time she was in a relationship was when she was in her late teens or early 20s that's quite far back and the kind of men you deal with in your early 20s is very different to the kind of men you deal with when you're in your late 20s. So ask your girlfriend who's in that relationship, what cues should you look for? What cues should you look for in a guy that makes him boyfriend or husband material? Because she is more likely to know because she is currently in one. And so if you're ready to invite a great guy into your life, then enroll my Claim Your Man program below where I show you how to do just that. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, keep it slick.